an all-star weekend, no telling what you would see. And Michael would give the fans something they would never forget. He wants to indicate where he's going to take off on this dunk. Fly! They love it. So does Michael Jordan. And his foot was honest to that tape. The contest would feature another slam dunk specialist, the man simply known as the human highlight film, Dominique Wilkins. These two supreme high flyers would take to the air in the slam dunk final. Michael Jordan are now in a little bit of trouble. This is the last one for Michael Jordan. He feels the pressure. But Michael would rise to the occasion. Oh, <laughs> spectacular. Dominique would answer in spectacular fashion. Here he goes. Uh -huh. like that'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> Creative, what an athlete, and a plenty of style for Dominique Wilkins. Dominique Wilkins of the Atlanta Hawks, the new 1985 slam dunk champion. Michael would return to the slam dunk contest in 1987 in Seattle, prepared for victory. This time, though, Dominique Wilkins was injured and not participating. But that didn't hold Michael back from putting on a show. Oh, that was great. Uh, I wish I had the hands to do that. Michael Jordan, I'm telling you now, he says I've named them. Every one of them is the $12,500 dunk. Michael would find his main competitor in the unknown Skywalker, Jerome Kersey. Jerome Kersey looks strong. Your dark horse pick, Rick Barry. Give me some home. Keep it off the line, guys. Yeah, keep it off the line. Give me some. Leave it to Air Jordan to give the people what they wanted. <laughs> there he goes. He goes in straight, goes up in the air. Now he's sideways. Look at the air. Look at the hang time. Look at the flying motion. <laughs> Look at his head above the rim. <laughs> That is Air Jordan at his best. It looked like he was in an F-16 that time. Kersey would answer every time. And Kersey comes in, he comes off the glass, the big catch, and reaches through with authority from behind. A 50 for Kersey. Now it was Michael's turn. Now Michael Jordan told me he had something special. He may be trying to take off from the free throw line, a la Julius Irving. Let's see what happens. I can hear his engines revving now. Air from Jordan ready to Air take off. In <laughs> Chicago. Michael would show everyone why he is called air with a spectacular dunk from the foul line awarding him his first slam dunk championship. I think it's going to be one of the better slam dunk competition that they ever seen and I think it's going to be on. Watch out. Well, they're on their feet in Chicago for this man, their man, the defending champion. Jordan. The next year in Chicago, Jordan would start right where he left off the year before, above the rim. Jordan wants to put some pressure on everybody by trying to do something special right out of the gate. That's the one he calls the kiss the rim because he takes his face right up to the rim, ducks it under, and then windmills. The long-awaited rematch with Dominique Wilkins was on, and Meek would answer the call. And a 49. For Dominique Wilkins to put him in first place. It was becoming a heavyweight battle of epic proportions. This is much like a heavyweight championship crowd, you know, and they are trading big heavy right punches. Meek needed a perfect score. From high above the rim. Well, the heat is on. And the pressure was back on Michael. Well, now Jordan does have his first taste of pressure in the slam dunk competition. Michael is backing all the way to the middle of the backcourt. Mission control ready for launch. Go ahead, baby. It was Michael's stage, and he wasn't going to let the hometown crowd down. Well, the crowd lets you know what they think of it. They gave him a 50. They gave Jordan a 50. He defends his championship. In one of the greatest slam dunk contests ever, Michael would defend his title and solidify his trademark of Air Jordan.